Kite People, Sven from Arealis Kites, peace. Well, I gotta tell you a story. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to this nice little island called Shu Shai. <laughs> yeah, so repeat after me, Shu Shai. Actually, it's not, it's not an island. It's a kind of peninsula that's connected to the mainland via this long and tiny sandbank. <clears throat> and this sandbank is the key. It's the access point for this peninsula and it's submerged when high tide. So to get there, I need to check the tide table because uh, I don't want to get my feet wet. Taking a look at the tide table over here, uh, it seems like going there in the early morning would be perfect because then we have a low tide and the access will be available. So I'm gonna bring a bunch of uh, lifter kites, you know, the Rokakus and uh, this one, Peter Lim pilot, and do some kite aerial photography and videography. The wind is supposed to come in from the south, and that means uh, nice and undisturbed from the sea. And uh, we'll, hopefully that will make for perfect flying conditions for doing some kite aerial photography. And uh, hopefully the clouds will stay away so that I can get some really nice shots from the sun is rising above the horizon. And you know, filming, taking photographs in the golden hour. Will it work out? There's only one way to find out. We'll go there tomorrow morning. Bye. <coughs> Hi there kite people, early in the morning, time for some coffee. And some kite flying, let's go. On my way to the tiny peninsula of uh, Shu Shai. It's a nice looking Sunday morning with some uh, it's partly clouded sky. There's still some morning fog in patches around, but I think they will blow away during the day because uh, they're facing quite a stiff breeze. And that's good because uh, when you are to do aerial videography and photography using a kite, you need a little wind, you know, enough wind so that the kite will generate enough pull to lift the cap ring. and today that should be no problem whatsoever. I'm still a bit concerned about uh, the tide because uh, this little peninsula is only accessible by walking this tiny long sand bank from the mainland over to the island. And uh, if we hit the spot on high tide, it's unaccessible. Well, you can walk there, but you're going to, you're going to get wet. But according to the tide table that I checked yesterday, we should be fine. So let's go out there and see if it's right. As you can see, over there in the east, the sun has come up, and uh, that's always that's always a good sign. Uh, it's windy, and bugger, I forgot my gloves. I forgot my gloves. That's not good. Gotta, I gotta pay attention to uh, to the road because there are some icy patches around. 
mostly it's wet, but uh, every now and then I hit a nice spot. So, better be careful. Getting closer now, and uh, this is looking really good. Now, what about the tide? good isn't it yeah I think I think I'm in for a good experience today let's go fly a kite shall we hey look what I found in the back of my car yeah, they're not gloves, but they'll definitely keep my hands warm. Perfect. Getting closer to the crossing now, and uh, from where I am right now, it's impossible to see if it's possible to cross over or not. I'll have to go closer. Fingers crossed. It looks like the tide table was right. It's low tide. I can get there. I can fly a true shed. Come on, let's go. No problems to cross over here. perfect the sun is shining the wind is blowing and I've found myself a nice wind shelter how about some coffee you know I was I was thinking about firing up the drone to get a, a drone shot of uh, this uh, sandbank uh, that should be pretty nice you know a smooth flyby over the sandbank i think i'll do that yeah the mavic mini you know the batteries for the mavic mini they should be operating at, well, close to room temperature. For being out here on a day like today, I will have to put them inside one of my inner pockets to keep them warm. So, here we go then. A bunch of zippers. Yeah, the drone is set up and I'm ready to fly. Let's fire it up, shall we?
some good drone shots of the sandbank that you have to walk to cross over to this peninsula. But now, let's get a kite up into the air. Okay, I got to the flying spot and uh, I've uh, found myself some uh, <laughs> shelter from the wind. The wind is right now coming from a more westerly direction. That means I have to have my kites up high because it's kind of rolling down here on ground level. Hopefully up there it's a lot smoother. Now the plan is to put up two different kites. One smaller Rokaku and uh, the Peterlin foil kite. And uh, when they're up there, I will make a decision on what kite will do the best job for lifting the cap rig under the current wind conditions. So let's fly some kites. <laughs> Just some uh, minor tweaks to the bridle. Yeah, I got both my kites up there now. Somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> there you can see them. Uh, and I've made my decision. The Rokaku is the more stable of the two, so I will be using the Rokaku for uh, doing the cap sessions today. But before I do anything else now, I need to tie my sho shoelaces because walking around on these slippery rocks, you definitely need to have your shoes put on properly. That's more like it. Unfortunately, the clouds have drifted in from the from the ocean so uh, it's not sunny like I hoped it would be a bit different light conditions than planned but I think we'll get some good shots nevertheless the wind is perfect the kite sits super stable up there and uh, I'm about to rig the rig oh did I get the wrong box? Uh oh. No, it's all in here. Whew. Here we got some stuff. We got the rig. It's here. Here's the GoPro camera. It sits inside this cover. I have to take it out of, out of the cover and uh, put it into the gimbal. That's all there's to it. All right, it's working. Let's get this one. Higher up into the air. Kites up there, you can see the rig. Uh, there's the kite and uh, we're good to go. Let's start walking and do some kite aerial videography.
gotta be a bit careful so I don't slip <laughs> again on these really slippery rocks and also keeping an eye on the kite and the rig so nothing happens up there so far this looks nice
possible. But I hope you can hear me through the wind. It's been a great day out here on Shushai in the middle of the Kure Fjord flying Rokakus and uh, the Peter Lindfoil doing some aerial videography using the kite. I've also used the drone by the way, the Mavic Mini. A bit too windy for it, but it worked out. Uh, yeah, like I said, packing up now, heading back home, checking out the footage and uh, making a video. And now, the question is, am I too late? Has the tide uh, submerged my crossing? You know, that sandbank? Uh, we better check it out. No. I'm good. The tide is coming in, but I've still got plenty of sand to walk on. So I will get off this island without having my feet wet. 